So in this video, I'm going to walk you through everything included with the Raspberry Pi 4. So this is all new to me, as I mentioned, uh, my previous video. So I'm excited to share what I have discovered. So it comes with a heavy duty aluminum case uh, with a fan built in. Um, as you can see, the fan is right there. And after that, we have the uh, micro SD card reader, you know, for the operation system when you're downloading it. So that's what you use. And also we have the um, SD card itself right there. And after that, we have here um, the Raspberry Pi board itself, you know. And after that, we have the um, HDMI for display. And after that, we have the USB-C power, you know, just for um, energy, you know. And then after that, we have the guide, you know, of course, to help us start with it. All right, let's take a close look at everything the Raspberry Pi has to offer. So we will go over the ports, features, and everything that makes this device is so powerful. So started, let's start with the at the front. So we have some of the most important connection right here. So as you can see, we have two USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports, and as you can see them here, the blue and the black ones. So those are the ports. Um, they are just great for like connection, you know, like if you want to connect to your, you know, um, keyboard or mouse or whatever, you know, that's what you use. So those ports, that's, that's why they, you know, made it there, you know. And also, after that, you know, we have the Ethernet port, you know. So this is uh, essential for connecting like the Raspberry Pi directly to a network, allowing communication with other devices in my home lab, um, you know, and this will be especially used for like testing network configuration and project you know so that's basically you know what the ethernet cable for so um i mean if you turn around we have here two micro hdmi ports you know we are which are very crucial for connecting dual display and also we have uh, um audio jack as you can see right here um just for like sound output and also we have a us um usb c port for power you know so that's where the raspberry pi draws energy as you can see is right here all right so moving to the top we have the pins here these are um very useful when it comes to connecting sensor and also other hardware compartment like i will show you where to connect the cooling fan later when i put it everything together of course so that's where we're gonna connect to them and after that um if you turn around a little bit we have the um cpu itself and the RAM located here on the board, so they are like right next to each other, you know. So this Raspberry Pi is very compact, but very powerful enough to handle like a wide range of tasks. For example, running a lightweight operation system, you know, to act like a network server in my home lab. You know, I'm really excited to set everything up and dive into like some fun network project, you know. And I will also show you like how to answer the board into like inside the um the heavy duty aluminum case you know and um yeah that's basically what i have for you guys today